Welcome back into the studio where we have our first guest this morning. Everyone, this is Adir Sa'ati. How, is that, did I get that right? Yep, you got it. Okay, Adir, but, I like the animal. Adir, I like that, but where, where does your name come from? Because it's so pretty, I've never heard that before. It's Hebrew, it means uh, awesome and great, actually. Does it really? Yeah. That's amazing. Well, this is going to be an awesome and great interview. And so you clearly are looking the part like you are really getting ready for some fitness here. Yep. And you specialize in longevity training. Exactly. And so what exactly does that mean? How is that different than like if I want to, I don't know, go... Um, get all of my cardio sessions in, Adir. Like, what what are we really aiming toward with long, with longevity training? Well, at longevity training, we're not really about the no pain, no gain mentality. Um, we're trying to keep you on the mountain doing the things that you love to do, with no pain and preventing injuries from happening. That sounds really good. I feel like most of us can get behind that. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we have a lot of gear here with us in the studio this morning, and we should probably point out that you really kind of take any of the excuses out because you come to people's homes. Exactly. Rain, sleet, or snow, we come to you. You know, you don't miss those important workouts that you have during a powder day or, <laughs> or any of those, you know, fun days that we have planned so or just like um, a Tuesday if you're just not exactly feeling up to if you're it. not motivated it's gonna be tough because I'm coming to you <laughs> whether you like it or it not it is happening exactly and you have these four principles of your longevity training so can you explain just a little bit about what those are yeah so um, the first one is movement patterns it's all about mastering movement patterns instead of just training individual muscles because as you know sports like snowboarding and skiing and golf and tennis are three-dimensional kind of dynamic sports. Right. And so if you look at traditional, you know, you could say bodybuilding, um, they're very isolation type exercises. Mm -hmm. So this philosophy gets the whole body to become one strong team. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I think that's a really good idea. And I feel like that definitely makes a big difference when it comes to preventing injuries. Totally. Well, that's the whole thing is people isolate the muscles while they're exercising. So then that's how they're thinking when they're during the sport is wow. they're kind of selfish and individual. Right. So this is about getting it to become like one strong championship team okay, to work right. together. I like where we're going with, with yeah. these principles. Okay, what's the next one? The next one is three planes of motion. So it's a fundamental fact that every single muscle and joint in your whole body moves in three planes of motion. And I'm going to explain that a little bit more when we go over okay. the spine movements. Yeah, I'm going I'm to need a little bit more explanation on yeah. that one. Okay, and then what's your third one? The third is listen to your body, which is really there to keep you safe so that you don't do something too hard or something too soon that your body's not ready for and then hurt ourselves. Because a lot of us get really excited when we're trying oh, yeah. to work out and we go hard <laughs> and then the next day we're so sore we can barely get out of bed. I definitely have been guilty of that. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we all kind of have been there, um, which, which I don't think is such a bad problem to have because you're so gung-ho about it. But I think it is important to listen to your body and understand what we can handle and go from there so that we progress at a safe level. Okay, these all seem really achievable so far. And then what's your last one? The last one is recovery. Oh. So it's extremely important that even whether it's exercise or our sports, that we recover in some type of way. And there's a bunch of different things about recovery that we go in depth about, but the main one is active recovery, which is moving your joints, activating them, and moving to the fullest range of motion, which is essentially stretching them. Nice. So the spine movements that I want to show you yeah. is the first exercise of three exercises that I think everyone should be doing in the morning and before their sport. Okay, so let's get into that really quickly because we have about a minute left. So, Perfect. all right, tell us, tell so, us how to do this. As I was saying, our body moves in three planes of motion. So the first one is up and down. So we're gonna slowly, gradually reach down towards oh. the ground and then reach all the way up. Okay, I kind of just want to stay on the ground. <laughs> right, yeah. And that's okay. why we gradually go there. You know, okay. you don't want to go all the way to the ground immediately. You want to progress into reaching further and further so that our body's warming up. Already so that's feels the first one. Really good. Okay, what's Forward the and back, one? up and down. Then the sec oh. second one is side <laughs> to side. Okay. That's, oh, that's yep. awesome. And really so good. the focus with this is that our, our spine is moving in three planes of motion. We're still getting the whole body, as in our hips and knees, ankles, and even our shoulders, but we're focusing on the spine. Okay. And then the third one is rotation. Oh. Yep. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, this already feels amazing. Right? Oh, dear. Okay, so I really like where all this is coming from. And, and again, you come to people's house, yep. houses and um, you make it really easy. So how do they get in touch with you and how do they book that appointment? You can go to longevitytrainingco.com or you could give me a call, 518-577-7734. Um, but yeah, as you said, we bring all the equipment to you. I knock on your door and, and we get going. And you get going. Well, listen, I say we get going into our commercial break, but can we keep doing some, some more Absolutely. of that? Absolutely. So, Do that rotation. Oh my God, that feels so good. Right? All right, we'll be right back and we're a good morning meal. Seriously, that's amazing. I feel like all I'm right. even like more awake.